What is up guys? My name is Robert Donaldson and today we are back with episode number 141 of Rob's Best Bets. And as always, you can find me on Twitter at RobDFB. And if you do want more content like this in the future, please hit the like and subscribe button because it really does help out a ton. But before we jump into the picks, I just want to give a massive shout out to Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring today's video. And if you do want to get involved with the pick'em videos that we do on this channel and give out on Twitter, or just want to take part in some of the daily contests, head over there and use my promo code ROBDFB at sign up, and they will match your first $100 up to 100%. Man, as we hop into this recap, a losing day on Tuesday with a kind of bad beat in that Twins Rays game, but ultimately a lot of fair sides that won and lost yesterday. And that said, we do have a nice slate here on Wednesday, so let's jump right into these picks. All right, for our first pick of the day, we are heading down to Tampa Bay, where we have the Twins taking on the Rays, and the Twins are on a little bit of a skid here, but this lineup can do damage when they're not striking out repeatedly, and with this looking like a bullpen day for the Rays, I think they can get it done here. So let's take the Twins on the money line for two units for our first play of the day. For pick number two, we are heading over to Cleveland, where we have the Guardians taking on the Red Sox, and with Tanner Bybee on the bump and Cleveland starting to find some offense as of late, I do think this is a prime spot for them to get the job done and pick up a win. So let's take the Guardians on the money line for three units for our second play of the day. For pick number three, we are heading down to Miami, where we have the Marlins taking on the Royals, and Jordan Lyles for the Royals has some surprisingly respectable under the hood numbers as of late and the Marlins we know they can sometimes go dormant on offense and I do think the Royals could keep this one tight and potentially pull off a winner so let's take the Royals getting the one and a half runs for three units and for an extra unit let's take them on the money line here as well. All right, for our final play of the day, we are heading over to San Diego, where we have the Padres taking on the Mariners, and this is a great pitching matchup between two guys who on the surface have performed well and under the hood have looked even better, and we know how conducive this ballpark can be towards the under, so let's take the under of eight runs for two units, and also for an extra two units, I actually really like the Padres to find a way to win this game here as well. All that being said, I really want to thank you guys for checking out today's video, and if you do want to show some love, head on over to Twitter and drop a follow at RobDFB. You can also find the player props on there, and yesterday, we did pretty well again. We hit Francisco Lindor to hit a home run, and is over on hits plus runs plus RBIs, and again, make sure you guys are tailing those. Those have been definitely profitable as well, and those count towards the official record as well. So... With all that being said, if you do also want to show some love, you can drop a like in this video, you can comment down below, and you can subscribe to the channel. And as always, y'all, I will see you in a future video. Take it easy.